Well, guys, I think today is the final day of renovations before we move in tomorrow. We're getting our bed delivered tomorrow. I'm just going to do a little bit of trim, finish up the tiny little bit of the paint I have in the hallway, and then start cleaning it up and getting it ready. For a while there, it didn't feel like this day was coming, but I think we're there, guys. So let's go get all those little things touched up. Let's get it all cleaned up and uh, let's get ready to move in. Here we go. All right, and that I think is gonna do it for this. Second coat on everywhere, now I'm just gonna let this dry and then I can tape up the uh, um, trim on the top. So I'll get out the ladder, tape that up, and then hit the trim up here and everything else with one more coat. Uh, and then this room is done and we can get to cleaning. Over in the kitchen, I hit this part with another coat of white and the top up there. The chalkboard paint says it covers in one coat so I don't think I need to hit that with another coat of white. So once this dries, I think we need one more coat of white on this to really cover. So I'm gonna let this dry, hit one more coat of white there, do the chalkboard and then the black doors. And then again, kitchen's done. And it's really just cleaning up in here. And the office, just need to hit the baseboards. So I'm just gonna put some paper or some tape on the ground to make sure that we don't get anything on the floor here. While we do the baseboards, I don't think I'm gonna tape the top of them because it's got the wire on the top. So that should stop it from going up on the wall. I'll start and see if I you know, keep getting white on the wall. And if I do, then I'll tape it. And the bedroom is basically done. Uh, there's window trim to do in here, but we're gonna do window trim and stuff once we are moved in. So these baseboards are fine. Trim on the top, fine. So the bedroom is all ready to go and it's all clean. So like, that's great. Bedroom is good. It's just the windows, but uh, yeah, the window trim we'll do later. That's something we can do once we move in here. So we just need to clean up the dust really in here. And then that's all good to go. Laundry room, all we really have to do is clean up. There's some shelves, I think they go in here, but uh, I don't know if the electrician needs to do anything so with that. I hope not, I hope he's done. Everything else is just cleaning up in here. And then here in the bathroom, this has been done for a while. It's just, again, cleaning up here in the bathroom. And he still needs to put this towel warmer in. There's a towel warmer that's going right there. So he has to put that in. We have a little trash can in here though. That's nice. And a bed. This bed's not staying here, obviously. But, you know, this is where we're storing it for now. Um, and then, oh, I do need to oil this. So I have wood oil. You got to put wood oil up on that beam uh, to protect it from moisture. And then we're done in here. So let's get the last little bit of painting done here. Let's get the cleaning. Let's get this place ready to go tomorrow. We got another coat of white on here. I think it's ready for the chalkboard on the back. And then uh, the black doors. We're gonna take the doors off to paint them. It's gonna make it way easier. Also have to figure out if I wanna do chalkboard everywhere or if I'm gonna leave the edges here and over here white and just chalkboard on the flat piece. I'm kinda leaning towards that cause like I'm not really gonna draw on the other side and maybe leaving like a little white border around. So it's like a little frame around it. I don't know, I gotta talk to Feth about that. Um, and here, got the baseboards painted. Oh my God, it looks so much better. I swear, it's crazy what a coat of paint will do. Now the baseboards might need another coat, I don't know. The trim up on the ceiling though, that's all done. It looks so good. And again, I just have to, hit a couple trim spots over there, and then the ceiling trim there. And we're gonna do the baseboards in here. Guys, and then that is painting. That is everything. I mean, we don't even need to get the baseboards done, but it's just much easier to do it when there's like not a bunch of furniture in here. So getting baseboards finished is like priority right now. Getting that wood stove done so we don't have to worry about it later. Um, and because I've already started it, it's not really a priority, but I already started it, so I might as well finish it. And then window trim will probably get done once we actually live here, or if we have time today, who knows? So uh, we're gonna keep going. Let's get it. And there it is. There it is. God, they look so much better. If you remember, they were like yellowed and cracked and ugh, just not good. But now they look a million times better. This room, 
looks a million times better than it did. I myself kind of forget how it looked because I've been here every day working. So these were way easier to take off than I thought. I thought I was gonna have to like take off like the screws and stuff, but they literally just lift off. So I'm getting the first coat of the black put on right now. Once that front dries, I'll go ahead and do the back, but they're looking nice. There's so many guys, there's like three flies inside right now and they keep buzzing around my head and it's really annoying. I'm gonna keep going with these. It should probably be easier if I have like, you know, something else to set them up on that wasn't like the ground and a ladder, but like, you know, you work with what you got. You make do with what you have. This fly is back. And now he's gone. Sorry, Mr. Fly. I'm actually not sorry. You know, that's one thing I'm gonna have to get used to living here out of the farm. There's a lot of flies. Probably because there's, you know, a bunch of cows, like literally across the way from us. I mean, that makes sense, but I don't love it. But again, we live on a farm. I guess that's the price you pay for living in the country. Because, you know, if you live out in the country, you gotta share with the animals that are already here. And there's some animals that are really cool, like foxes and deer and, you know, we got the cows out here. And then there's some animals that I don't want to share with, like the flies. So that's fun. We're gonna, we gotta look into getting like a net or something because these windows don't have screens on them which is why there's so many flies uh the windows don't have screens because they you know they open outward they swing open outward so you can't put a screen on that because that's not how screens work <laughs> they don't swing open so like i know there's things that we can get but we would have to like take the screen down every time we want to open the window so i don't know if there's a better solution if you guys have any ideas let me know down in the comments below ideas for a screen of some sort for the windows. Anything you guys know? I don't know. Maybe you guys got ideas I don't. I think that one looks good. We're gonna let this one dry. I'm gonna have to touch it up in a second here because I'm about to touch it and ruin it right there. Right there, nice little thumbprint. Touch up the other side, let it dry, and then we'll come back to it. We'll hit it with that final coat. I think it's gonna look really good over on the wood stove. Now, I'm a little concerned with the chalkboard paint very small amount. I think if I roll it on, the roller is just gonna absorb so much. I don't know. Like, it's literally this big. You know, cover all of that. It's a quarter of a liter. Now I think it can cover, the thing is pretty strong. It says it covers in one coat. I think it's pretty like pigment dense. So I'm gonna leave a little border. So I'm gonna tape off a little bit here. Then we'll see, I don't know, should I brush it on? I feel like if I brush it on though, it's not gonna have like a very good coverage. I don't want it to be streaky. So I feel like I have to roll it on. 10 square meters per liter, which means I should get two and a half square meters out of this, which should be fine. We'll see. So I don't think a chalkboard wall is supposed to look like that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna run into town and get a small roller because I have that big roller, but I think that's too much. So I'm gonna get a small roller and uh, let that dry, come back and roll over it. I think it'll be fine. Uh, and then we'll do a little bit of touch up. And then I'm gonna get uh, Feth from work, bring her back here and we will uh, finish that chalkboard wall. We gotta oil the beam over in the bathroom and then we just gotta clean up. So once we get that beam oiled, once we get this done, do uh, probably one more coat on these uh, cabinet doors here. Be good to go, guys. We'll clean up and move it in tomorrow. So we'll see you in just a few. And we're back. We picked up a gate to put up at the top of the stairs so Moose doesn't run down the stairs every time he hears a noise down there, which is important. Um, and I got two of the little mini rollers only for the chalkboard wall. Oh yeah, that is what the chalkboard wall is up to look like. So now that that's all good, we're gonna let that dry up. We're gonna let these dry up before I handle them and put them back onto the wood stove. We'll probably do that tomorrow uh, when we're moving in. I'll put those back on. But they're looking great and I think it's gonna look absolutely fantastic over there. The blue versus this is just gonna be, I mean, it's gonna be night and day. It's gonna look so good. I can't wait. 
So here's the bed. I guess it's curbside delivery because uh, the apartment's way over there and they dropped it here. So let's carry it in. All right, the couch is in. We're getting things moved in. We got everything just kind of in the bedroom right now. And we'll sort through it later. We have to move all this stuff out of here still. And then we can put the couch and everything in, but we got the couch inside. The couch isn't staying in here. It's going in this room, but it's in here for now. The desk, the setup is here. Oh, we'll get it all set up, guys. This is gonna be the stream room. This is where the desk is gonna go. I gotta figure out what's gonna go in the background. Leave me ideas in the comments below on what you think I should put in the background of the stream. All right, we're gonna get some of this furniture moved in now. We have this dresser, a couple other things that we're grabbing from here. Carry them out of the barn and carry them back up inside. So we're gonna get working on that, getting this stuff up here. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. All right, now we have the computer and a few other things like our dog <laughs> back at the apartment. Computer and moose. Moose is the important part. We have to clear all this stuff out, like I said. Everything else, all the other furniture that we're taking is up here. I really like this chest. And we got these guys in here. We got some chairs over in the kitchen, as well as like a little corner cabinet piece that we're gonna, now all these things are uh, unfinished for the most part. So we're gonna paint all of them. Henrik is putting up the uh, pendant lights right now in the kitchen. So we're gonna go pick up, we need some hooks to put up in the ceiling to you know hang the excess cording on. So we're gonna go pick up some of those. Um, and then pick up a few more things. We need hooks. There might be a couple more things that I can't think of right now. And then we're gonna get something to celebrate because we did it. We did it. We gotta go back, pick up a few more things, pick up moose, get the hooks, come back here, set it all up. All right, we're all loaded up for the second trip here. Most of the uh, odds and ends, a little bit of stuff up there. After we get this unloaded, we just have to come back and get moosey boy. And then we're all moved in. Such great move in weather. We got the last load out here and it started pouring. So it's staying in the car until this calms down a little bit. But this room, this room is all clear. Look at that. And then we have this over here. Again, we still have to put our bed together and get everything there. But man, that looks good. We just need to mop the floors in here. And then same thing, we gotta clean up the floors in here. So once this rain dies down a little bit, we're gonna go unload the rest of the stuff from the car. And then it's just Moosey Boy. We made it. We are headed into the grocery store. We're gonna go grab Moosey Boy. We got some pizza on our way. We're gonna go to Ikamaxi and just pick up some necessities. A little bit of food, because we don't have like any food. And then like laundry detergent, dishwasher detergent, paper towels. We need a trash can. I don't know what other necessities there are. I'm sure we'll find stuff over there. And Moosey Boy is here. So we still don't have overhead lights, but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna put our bed together and then just chill for the rest of the night. I think tomorrow we'll probably go through and start organizing the other rooms and unpacking stuff, but it's been a long day of moving, we're tired. So we're gonna get the bed put together, maybe move a couple things around in here. And then tomorrow, I'll show you guys what it looks like. We get everything else moved around a little bit more. We're gonna get this put together and probably collapse into the bed and go to sleep. So that's all I got for you today, guys. I'll uh, check in with you tomorrow and you guys can see all of the great stuff that we create here. I can't wait. We're home. Peace out.